Is it in good day? So as we are traveling from South Africa to South America in the next few weeks, I thought I'll make a quick video just to clarify what people need for when they travel internationally in the time of COVID. So the information I'm giving you is mainly linked to moving from South Africa to Brazil or Chile. Um, each country may, the information may vary slightly, but there is some basic requirements that all countries would want you to have. Okay, so obviously you need your normal passport uh, with open pages no, and at least six months validity. You need a visa for some countries. I'm not really going to go into that. And then on top of that, specifically for the time of COVID, you will need the following. If you've been vaccinated, you will need your vac physical vaccine card and also a government issued vaccine certificate with a barcode. Um, then you would need a PCR or antigen test that's country dependent. China, for example, sometimes requires both. You will need that. You will also need a travel declaration. Travel declaration is a document that you can fill in online depending on the country and that you can fill in um, up to three days before your flight. For that document you will need your flight number, where you're going to stay in the country that you're traveling to, your seat number, sometimes that's, that's not assigned yet so you'll need to ask your airline for that and then obviously your details, your vaccines details. We prefer to print these documents and have them electronically. Most countries will accept the electronic version as well as a physical version. We just don't want to rely on our um, phones because we might run out of charge or not have cell phone reception. So we do print all of it. We also carry duplicates for in case they last. We have certified copies of our vaccine certificates um, just in case. We also upload electronic ones um, to our Dropbox or wherever you have a web storage just in case everything gets lost and you need to um, retrieve it from a separate computer. It um, can sound very daunting, but if you take your time, you read everything carefully and you just follow the steps very carefully. Um, some countries, for example, Chile, they issue a, what they call a mobility pass, which is linked to your vaccine status, your PCR status, your government issued QR vaccine certificate and a declaration that you fill in. And that will then give you your mobility pass. So it's not that daunting, just take your time, sort it out carefully, and remember the countries will still require a proper travel insurance, and your travel insurance will specifically have to state that they cover COVID 19 health. So get out there, enjoy the traveling. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If you, if you did, please hit a like. It'll help our channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Because um, we'll have a lot more travel videos coming you as we're going on a great adventure. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.